Hello everybody, this is Daniel from AngryWeb.net and today we're going to be doing a short video uh, preview rather than review on Ace Combat Joint Assault for the PSP. This title is set to release August 31st of 2010 and Bandai was uh, nice enough to send us an early copy so we can, uh, you know, play around with it and see what we think. So we're going to show you some of the gameplay and let you know our preliminary thoughts. Alright, so here is the, um, we're between missions here on this screen, so we're going to go ahead and override our current data. Let me get a save going here. So we're going to save it. And here's a replay of the last mission I did. As you can see, if you are a um, Ace Combat fan, it's going to look very familiar. The gameplay is very familiar. The last one I played was on the Xbox, and I had the full yoke and, uh, or sorry, rather the control stick and also the throttle controls now. As someone who's into video games and aviation, I can say I really like this game a lot so far. Some of the dialogue is a bit cheesy. Some of the missions you go on are just very standard. Uh, you know, go up in the air and shoot the targets and fly with the friendlies. So we're going to go into a little bit of gameplay now. Let's go ahead and bypass that. So the load times are a bit long on this. But likely so, it's some pretty big environments. As you can see, I'm still getting used to the controls. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start the next one there. So this is your mission briefing, and we're going to go ahead and skip this just for the sake of the review. Again, any uh, Ace Combat fan would have seen that before, and they'll just let you know what your next mission is. Right now we just left Tokyo, so let's go ahead and see what our next mission is going to be. And again, you can upgrade your weapons, you can upgrade your planes, we're just going to go ahead with the standard right now. So as you see, the pre-rendered cutscenes are pretty good.
Now we're going to go back to our mission screen here. We're going to choose our aircraft, choose our weapons, and then we'll uh, show you a little bit of the gameplay. So this is the third mission in the game. We'll go ahead and skip that, just get into the gameplay. Alright, so as you see, you can do all your saving here, you've got your options, your hangar when you buy more planes. So we're just going to go ahead and start the mission with what we have. So we're going to go ahead and pick our F4E Phantom 2. We're going to pick our uh, air to ground heat sinking and then our other standard missiles. We're going to go ahead and take off. Antara Squadron, launch. So as you see, the gameplay is very similar. The uh, the right and left control buttons on the top are going to be your um, throttle and also your uh, you know decreased throttle. So as you can see, uh, with the flames coming out of the back of the plane right now, we are um, using the throttle. And just like uh, the other titles, once you get close enough range, your heat sinking missile will lock into a target, and you will be able to fire missiles. So you have your guns which we're shooting right now and we're gonna go ahead and speed up and let's see we got our red target right there we're just gonna shoot a missile destroyed simple as that and the game is pretty redundant in that sense you will have a couple of quote-unquote boss battles which are gonna allow you to you know shoot bigger planes and you're gonna have to target different things on the plane for it to become a uh, successful mission but in the up and up it's pretty simple it's fun to fly around it's fun to you know shoot some heat sinking missiles, but you know, it's nothing too complex. The environments are pretty good for a PSP game. Um, it's it's fun. It's a fun game. I don't think it's an, it's going to be one of those must-haves. It's going to be a very particular audience. So if you're into this type of title, um, I do highly recommend getting this game. It's uh, it's fun to, to fly around, do your free roam thing. Um, there are free roam missions that you can do. It's a pretty standard game, and it is a little bit redundant, but uh, it's great for any Ace Combat fans who wants to actually take this game on the go with them. They did a good job transferring it to the PSP. The controls are very simple. Uh, you use a directional. Uh, you don't actually use a directional. You use the analog stick. Use your buttons here to select weapons, and then on the top you have your uh, throttle and reverse throttle. So um, that's basically it. The, the gameplay again, just very simple, very standard, you know, follow your, your waypoints, it'll take you right to your targets, and like I said, I'm only on the third mission, but so far it's as simple as this, so, if that's something you're into, if you're into the other titles, it hasn't really changed much, they try to incorporate a story in, in between the missions, which you saw, but uh, I do recommend getting this game if, if this is your style of game, it is a bit of a niche title. And uh, Namco is, you know, they're kind of hit or miss, but I think this is going to be one of their hits, and we'll see how it goes. So uh, the release date is August 31st, 2010. The game is Ace Combat Joint Assault. And if you have any other questions, just leave it in the comments, and I'll try to answer them for you. I was a bit too lazy to do a write-up, so I'll throw this video up and I'll do a write-up later on. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.